Hi everyone! With the holiday season upon us, I thought that I would show you how I get ready for a holiday party. Starting off with hair. I like to blow dry my hair upside down, just at the roots so I can get a little bit more volume. I'm using the most beautiful hair tool I own, the T3 Featherweight Lux 2 Eye model. It's white, rose gold, and it has this gorgeous little diamond thingy on the back that is such a beautiful touch. And I'm using the matching round brush that it came with in a set. And the heat protectant that I'm using today is the Hot Toddy from Dry Bar. I started off blow drying my roots with my hair upside down to get a little bit more volume, but now to smooth everything out with a round brush, I like to work in sections. I just tie the bulk of my hair up at the top and then I gradually release layers from underneath and I smooth them over with the brush and blow dryer. For makeup, I'm starting off with a serum that's also a makeup primer. This is from the brand Ono Me. And for foundation, I'm using the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick in shade number 5, Natural. I'm mixing in a bit of Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on my eyes and at the center of my face for a little bit of brightening. And I'm just blending everything out with a sponge. This foundation stick has really grown on me in the last month. I have been using it a lot and it's so easy and it blends so well. Starting off with the eye makeup, I'm using a color called Statuesque. This is from the Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie 2 palette. You can just use your favorite neutral brown crease color. This is just to create a little bit of definition to the eye and MAC Wedge or Urban Decay Naked would also work really well. I'm just blending it in to the crease and a little bit all over the lid with a Sephora crease brush. Remember how last year I was obsessed with Chanel Illusion d'Ombre eyeshadow in the color New Moon? Well, this year's equivalent to that eyeshadow is this Dior Fusion Mono eyeshadow in the color Infinity. It's the most beautiful shimmery taupe. And while the formula is not my favorite eyeshadow formula of all time, the color makes up for it because it's such a multi-dimensional, beautiful taupe. The only thing is you need to buff it in and build it up in layers because it's not as pigmented as I would like, but I forgive it because I am a sucker for taupe eyeshadow. It was limited edition though, and I don't think it's available anymore. You might want to check with your counter to see if there are any left over, but the Burberry Wet Dry Eyeshadow in the color Nude is similar. To add a little bit of depth in the outer corner and on my lower lash line and because I'm feeling fancy, I'm using this gorgeous dark bronze shade from Gucci. This is the color Oxidus. I love the formula of Gucci eyeshadow because it is very pigmented and it has no fallout. It's very, very, very smooth and buttery. Oh, Setting my face makeup with a little bit of powder. I'm using the By Terry Loose Powder, which I don't love, but I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm trying to use it up. I find that if I use this Wayne Goss airbrush with it, it makes the powder look a lot more soft and subtle on the skin, so that's how I've been making it work.
I wanted to go a little bit bolder on the lips, so I went for this darker nude shade from Tom Ford. This is a Tom Ford Lip Contour Duo. There's a lip liner on one end and a lipstick on the other end, and this is color number four. Show it off. Now to add some finishing touches to the hair, I'm adding some loose waves. I'm using a large barrel, I think this is a two inch barrel curling wand. I just randomly pick sections and I try to frame my face with some loose waves. This will add a bit of body and movement to my hair. I don't like perfect hair. I have very fine hair, so I find that messing it up a little bit, giving it that lived in disheveled look, just suits my personal style the best. Of course, if you're not into this look, you can smooth it out some more. You can use a smoothing serum. My flyaways and baby hairs tend to calm down after a couple hours, but I'm just a big fan of that lived in loose wave look. Mm -hmm. 